In a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2673, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned that the one who ACTS as a false witness in order to unlawfully take the possessions of others will meet Allah, the Exalted, while he is angry with them. It is important to note, this applies to taking the possessions of all people, irrespective of their faith. This will be the outcome, even if one obeys Allah, the Exalted, in other aspects of their life, such as offering the obligatory prayers. Unfortunately, this commonly occurs especially in third world countries where Muslims file false claims in a legal court in order to take something which does not belong to them, such as wealth and properties. According to a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2654, it is one of the greatest of major sins. In fact, this narration places perjury next to polytheism and disobedience to parents. In fact, Allah, the Exalted, has done the same in the Holy Quran. Chapter 22 Al-Hajj, verse 30 So avoid the uncleanliness of idols and avoid false statement. A narration found in Sunan Ibn Majah, number 2373, gives a severe warning to a person who does not sincerely repent from being a false witness. If they fail to repent, they will not move on the Day of Judgment until Allah, the Exalted, sends them to hell. In fact, the one who ACTS as a false witness in order to take something which they have no right to, will be sent to hell, even if the thing they took was a twig of a tree. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 353. Being a false witness is such a serious sin, as it includes many other terrible sins, such as lying. The false witness commits a sin against the person who they are testifying against. This sin will not be forgiven by Allah, the Exalted, until the victim forgives them first. If they do not, the false witness's good deeds will be given to the victim, and if necessary the sins of the victim will be given to the false witness in order to establish justice on Judgment Day. This may well cause the false witness to be hurled into hell. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6579. The false witness also commits a sin if they testify on someone else's behalf so that the latter can take something which they have no right to. This attitude clearly challenges the command of the Holy Quran which advises Muslims to not aid each other in evil but instead help each other in good things. Chapter 5 al maida verse 2 And cooperate in righteousness and piety but do not cooperate in sin and aggression. The false witness will also commit further sins by using something which has become unlawful because of the way it was obtained. For example, if a person obtained wealth in this manner and then gave it in charity, it would be rejected and recorded as a sin, as Allah, the Exalted, only accepts the lawful. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 2342. In fact, Anything they do with the wealth will be absent of grace and a sin as it was obtained unlawfully. It is a duty on all Muslims to always speak the truth, whether it is in normal everyday conversations or under an oath in a legal court case. Lying in all forms leads to sins which in turn lead to hell. The one who continues lying will be recorded as a great liar by Allah, the Exalted. It does not take a scholar to work out what is most likely to happen to someone on Judgment Day who has been labelled a great liar by Allah, the Exalted. This has been warned in a narration found in Jami, Atimizi, number 1971. Finally, taking the possessions of others unlawfully, through a legal court case or by other means, must be avoided, as this contradicts the character of a true Muslim and believer. The true Muslim and believer is the one who keeps their verbal and physical harm away from people and their possessions. This has been advised in a narration found in Sunan and Nasai, number 4998. One must treat people and their possessions in the same way they desire people to treat them and their possessions. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.